Okay, it's May 8, year 2009. Today I'm going to uh, test my uh, picoscope. How uh, I just wonder how how uh, clear when it capture a d digital signal. Okay, so there I I have a signal generator here, a function generator that can produce from 10 hertz up to one mega one megahertz, and there's a frequency counter. And here's my uh, the PC picoscope. Okay, that's my picoscope, and here's the signal. Okay, now I'm there the picoscope is sampling at the signal at one kilohertz. Okay, set the frequency to one kilohertz. Uh, there. Okay, I set the frequency to 1 kilohertz. This is a signal. Okay. Now I'm going to freeze it. Freeze. I'm sampling at 1 millisecond per division. 1 millisecond per division and the uh, zoom is uh, times 1. Okay. Now I'm going to freeze it. So we can see it clearly. Okay, I'm going to magnify it to uh, this uh, times 1. I'm going to magnify it into there times two. This is times two times five times ten times twenty times fifty times one hundred and two times two hundred. Okay, one nice thing about the digital oscilloscope is you can magnify it there. Okay. Now let's increase it to uh, 10 kilohertz. Okay, so this is a uh, 1 kilohertz increases to 10. 10 kilohertz there. Almost there. Okay, it's now in 10 kilohertz. There. That's a signal. Still, the sampling is 1 millisecond. Magnifying is times 1. Let's freeze it and let's uh, magnify it. Times 2, times 5, times 10, times 20, times 50, times 100, times 200. Okay, still very smooth. Okay, now let's increase it to 100 kilohertz. Here, 100 kilohertz, and Okay, now set to 100 kilohertz. Start sampling. Okay. This time let's let's freeze it again by freeze it. Sampling is still the same, one millisecond per division times one. Okay, let's freeze it and then magnify it. This is times one, times two, times five, times ten, times twenty times 50 still smooth there okay times 100 but if you notice the the signal it's very uh it look like uh there's a what do you call it uh it's not smooth anymore okay because we are now reaching the the sampling rate of the oscilloscope okay yeah, the square. This is supposed to be smooth, okay? Yeah. Square. Very edgy, okay. Now let's increase it. Let's increase it uh, to 1 megahertz. Okay, set it to 1 megahertz. Wait, huh? Ah. 
There, one megahertz. Okay, that's almost a one megahertz, okay? Let's sample it again. And let's go back to its uh, or original magnification. Okay, the signal has dropped, okay? That's normal. And I'm going to increase, freeze it. And let's magnify this is a one, same one millisecond per division times two, times five, tw times 20, times 50 times 100 there doesn't look like a sine wave anymore it looks like a triangular wave because we are now approaching the sampling rate of the oscilloscope and this is times 200 okay I, I wonder what's the sampling rate let's measure it okay it's now in the times 200 okay one nice thing about the PC oscilloscope you can easily measure it okay let's put it here corner there so the reading is a uh, 144 millisecond and the second reading okay there the time difference is about 1.1250 nanosecond that's a uh, uh, roughly 1.25 millisecond uh, I mean microsecond so I guess it's uh, let's measure the other sampling like this one there still the same 1.25 microsecond so I believe it's about a uh, one microsecond estimate okay so when your time per division is one millisecond I believe the sampling rate is about 100 1000 times smaller so that will be a uh, one microsecond I believe okay one nice thing about this digital uh, oscilloscope you can magnify it Unlike with the analog oscilloscope, you cannot do that. You can, maybe in analog oscilloscope, you can only magnify up to 10 times, but not uh, 1,000, 100 times with the di digital. Okay. Okay, let me show you. Uh, so, it's like a digital picture. So, you can see the, this, uh, the sampling rate. Huh? Okay. Now I'm going to test this as uh, my single stress oscilloscope. I'm going to perform the same uh, test using my dual trace. This uh, dual trace. Pico there. This uh, dual trace uh, 12 bit uh, resolution. Okay. Bye.